Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today we are going to revisit the peanut butter sandwich from the sandwich book of 1900. Now you might recall I did this sandwich uh, last week and uh, I kind of did a wrong way extrapolation. I, I looked at the price of peanuts per pound and said that's about $1.83 in today's money, which is true. However, what I should have done, as many of you pointed out, uh, is look and see how many peanuts you got for five cents, 10 cents back in 1900. Um, a bunch of you wrote in with links to 1920s, 1930s, and I thought, you know what, just be extra safe. I went to the Library of Congress and did a search of newspaper ads, and it turns out about 10 to 11 cents per pound. So to make things easy for today, I'm just gonna go with 10 cents a pound. I'm gonna be doing a half recipe. Uh, so we're gonna try it again with that one. And a few of you also had a question about vinegar strength. Uh, is vinegar today the same as it was back then? Was it as strong as it is today? Today it's standardized at 5% acidity. So I'm also gonna try the recipe with the vinegar cut in half. Some of you asked about apple cider vinegar. I haven't found anywhere uh, in any of these books where apple cider vinegar is mentioned, yet they'll mention tarragon vinegar. So my assumption is that it's just regular vinegar, but I'm not 100% sure. All right, let's do this. So just like last time, we add flour, sugar, dry mustard into a pot, and we get this combined. Now we add in an egg. Now we turn on a heat and slowly whisk in a quarter cup of vinegar and a scant quarter cup of warm water. Now we cook this until it thickens. Now with the heat turned off, we add butter. Oh, and I forgot, a pinch of pepper. Now we're gonna let that sit for five minutes to cool down a little. And now we add in the correct amount of peanuts, eight ounces or half a pound of ground roasted salted nuts. Peanuts. Okay, second verse, same as the first. Flour, sugar, dry mustard, pinch of pepper, egg, and add our diluted vinegar a little bit at a time, along with our scant quarter cup of warm water. Now at the heat, we add our butter, mix it in, let it sit for five minutes. Now we add in our half pound or eight ounces of ground salted roasted peanuts. As you can see, it's quite a bit thicker with all those peanuts in there, so that's a good thing. It's not as um, runny as the original one that I did. Uh, so now we just put that onto white bread. This is our original full strength vinegar version. And the same is true for our vinegar at half strength. A lot thicker than the original. Okay, first up, let's give this peanut butter sandwich done with half strength vinegar a go. Not anywhere near as tangy as the original sandwich, obviously. Getting a lot more peanut flavor. And it's actually just a nice, subtle tanginess to offset the peanuts. This is actually a pretty tasty sandwich right now. Okay, let's give the peanut butter sandwich made with the full strength vinegar a go. Okay, so that's definitely better. So it's still quite tangy, um, and it's kind of a little too tangy for me. I actually enjoyed the one with the half strength vinegar. Um, that one actually tasted a nice balance between the nuts and the tanginess. This is a little much, a little strong, but nowhere near as bad as the one I made last week, which was wrong. <laughs> so you might be saying, Barry, why is this called a peanut butter sandwich when it's clearly a cooked salad dressing with peanuts added? It's a good question. I don't know why they would call this a peanut butter sandwich given that other recipes in this sandwich book call for actual peanut butter. It's not like peanut butter didn't exist. Clearly they're in the other recipes. And it's not like the peanuts weren't available. Everyone sold them and they were 10 cents a pound. So maybe it was a way to offer economy to some households. I'm not 100% sure to be honest. All right, so uh, the original peanut butter sandwich with the full strength vinegar, not a zero, not a one. I'm probably gonna give it a like three and a half. It's not horrible. It's not something I want to eat. Um, I probably won't finish that one, but the one with the half strength vinegar, I'm gonna give that a five. Believe it or not, it's actually pretty tasty. You're getting a lot of uh, roasted peanut flavor, a little tang from the uh, vinegar. It's not overwhelming. It's pretty good balance actually. <laughs> Go figure. Just want to say a quick thank you for all of you who weighed in to point out the error in my ways. Uh, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm gonna get things wrong and I appreciate the constructive criticism anytime. All right, I'm gonna finish the one with the half strength vinegar, um, not the other one. <laughs> all right, see you tomorrow.